This is the latest plugin from Point Blank called the Point Blank Surround Exporter, and it's basically a utility plugin which is capable of exporting six discrete channels and is suitable for 5.1 or quad surround. Ableton is a bit limited when it comes to supporting surround formats in comparison to some other DAWs, and I've been using this exporter for a few years to make it easier when exporting multi channel surround mixes from Ableton. This plugin works alongside Audio Roots, which was created by Manuel Paletti and Cycling74 a few years back, and it's well worth downloading Audio Roots from maxforlive.com as it offers some different panners for surround as well as some other options. The Point Blank Surround plugin is also compatible with the Surround Panner, which comes pre installed with Ableton Suite, although you'll need to route the output through several return tracks, which we'll configure now. So in this project, I've already created five individual channels. Okay, I've labeled them front, left, front, right, surround, left, surround, right, center channel, and LFE channel to make it clear. And I've also dropped on some just some vocal snippets. One, two, of me saying the numbers one through to five, and just for the LFE, a nice kind of low frequency sound. The first thing I advise when setting up for surround is to switch the output of each channel to sends only. So let's select over those, come to audio two, and then switch it to sends only. Then I'm going to install surround panner. So come up to my audio roots folder. So I've downloaded this from maxforlive.com and drop on a surround panner there and drop one here. And you only need to configure one of these and it automatically updates the other one. Now actually you don't necessarily need to use a panner um, because you can do kind of static routing as well. Okay, so I've dropped my panner in there. The next stage is to set up the return tracks. So I'm going to get rid of the effects of these. Okay, and then going to add on two more return tracks. So go to create, insert return track. Okay, or alt command T. And then I'm going to label these up. And this one, so command R, label front. Command R, rear. This will be my center. And then this last one here is going to be the LFE. So the front and rear returns are going to be in stereo. The center and LFE are basically in mono. To set it up to root out your speakers, we need to switch the audio to external output. And I'll choose one and two for the fronts. External out now, depending how you've got them configured. Um, I've got mine on three and four. And then center will be five. And LFE will be six. Finally, let's come over and open up the panner. Select a preset, so we'll go for 5.0. And then click on the wrench tool. And we just need to set up the corresponding output. So one, two, that will go to front. Three, four, goes to rear. Five, six, that will go to the center. Okay, and you could potentially also set up the subwoofer and route that through to the LFE if you want to make use of that. Um, or you could actually have a dedicated um, track for low frequency effects or several tracks. Okay, make use of the sense. We'll set that up in a minute. The other thing I just want to do here is copy these settings I've created here straight across to the other surround panners. Um, so send speakers set up to every panner instance. Yep. Okay, and that will make my life easier. Great, let's click back on the wrench tool and then just position this, okay, just for this demonstration. So you're free to pan it wherever you want. I'm just going to put this one uh, just to the left. Okay, close that. So the sounds should root directly out of speaker. And go to surround. Pull the width down, put that out there. I should be more careful with the azimuth, put it to exactly 110. If I'm just doing this quickly, pull down the width. Good. And like I said, if you wanted to, oh, I've already done it on this particular channel. Yeah, just on the LFE or however many channels you want to route to the LFE, just turn up send D. Okay. So if I press play now, one, two,
Now, if I want to capture this, this is where the surround um, exporter comes in. Let me just delete that and drop it back in so you can see how we set it up. So PB surround exporter, drop it in. Okay, so again, set it up in exactly the same way. Uh, choose the front for one and two, rear for three and four, center for five and six, and LFE for seven and eight. Okay, and then we've got a few different options to select. You can specify the file type that it's going to export, ARFF or WAV, um, whether it's going to be split or interleaved. Okay, just click on it to select whichever one. And then we can also determine whether it's going to be 24-bit or 16-bit. And then the kind of final step is make sure that your loop brace within Ableton goes over the entire length of your track. And that's now set up. So click on the initialize button. And that should tell you precisely the length. And if I just zoom in here, okay, look at where my loop brace is. Uh, that will tally with what it's telling you there. Okay, good. Then come down to export audio and this bounce here doesn't actually matter so i'm just going to click save on there okay but when it does this you will see the levels flash i've only got a small amount of audio on here but obviously if you've got a full mix those levels will be going constantly and then once it's done the ableton export then all you need to do is click on the export button on the surround exporter. Let me just create a new folder here. Click on create, give your file a name. And then click on the save button. And that's now exported it into that folder. So if I just drag this file in and then select one, the dot L, that will just be one. The right channel will just be two. Two. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and the uh, left surround will be three. You get the idea. Okay, so it's it's basically exported those as split mono files, and those can be imported into other applications, um, however you want. And equally, you could export it as an interleave file. Just bear in mind, Ableton doesn't support surround interleaved. Um, so, yeah, you won't be able to import it back in. Um, but there's that option for you. And in addition, you've got this button here, which will basically switch the order of the channels. OK, so it will go front, then center LFE and then rears uh, on channels five and six.